What if I told you there's a living museum on Earth, an ecosystem so ancient it predates most ecosystems as we know them? The Australian rainforest. These forests are the last remnants of Gondwana, the supercontinent that once connected Antarctica, South America, Africa, India and Australia. When Gondwana began to break apart about 180 million years ago, rainforest along Australia's east coast survived as fragments of a much older world. As Australia drifted north and the climate became too dry, these forests retreated into small and sheltered refuges. Only species able to tolerate the changing conditions survived. Later, as the Australian plate met Southeast Asia, land bridges allowed plants and animals to move south, mixing with the ancient Gondwanan lineages. That blend of all the new created the unique rainforest we see today. Cassowaries still disperse seeds in the Dane tree, while tree kangaroos move through canopies, floristically unchanged for millions of years. In these refuges, rainforest plants survive while much of Australia dried out and eucalyptus took over, allowing lineages from the age of Gondwana to persist to this day. So what can we learn from these living museums? Over time, climate and plant traits act as filters. Only species with the right strategies, seed size, growth form or stress tolerance could survive and spread. Nofophagus, the southern beach, is one of such survivors, a direct link to Gondwana's ancient forest. By combining fossils, genetics and functional traits, scientists reveal how these ecosystems adapted through deep time, lessons vital for understanding how life responds to change today. Australian rainforests are living records of survival and adaptation that remind us that resilience is possible, but only if we protect these ancient ecosystems.